All right, we own. Your girl pretty pleased right here about a light win. For reals this time. Last time we were doing our props, you know? Eee, we got mm. the fan hitting. All it's right, your girl y'all. Susie. <laughs> we're up in here. Episode 5. Lifestyle. You hear that? That's a lifestyle, you know what I mean? Somebody got a light, lighter in it our lifestyle. And it ain't for everybody. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hi, nice podcast right here at the West Coast Radio TV. Tap in. <coughs> I'm gonna pass it to you, cause. <coughs> All right. So lifestyle it is. Following from our last episode, which was cultura, that was a fun one. Lifestyle. I feel like it's gonna be fun too, but it's gonna be a little bit deeper because. We're going to kind of dig into the past, the present, and the future because mm. we are here and the only thing we could really talk about is our experiences, which is in the past. And we're still experiencing now, so present matters too. Past, present, future. I think that's very beautiful when it lines up to lifestyle because a lifestyle, you think of like your past life, your current life, and like your future. And, and wow. you know, and let's be, you know, a little bit more in detail. We are, you know, the Highness podcast and we're going to talk about the Chicano lifestyle. Yes, yes. I feel like when I think about Chicano lifestyle, I think about the Highness kicking it, smoking and drinking. Hey, hey, click, click, click. Know, hey, click, click. We normally have music in here, but right now we're the music. So say that, say that. <laughs> um, and just, you know, the car culture, you know, just the... Sh- What's the whistle <laughs> wet my whistle <laughs> <It's> a- <laughs> oh <laughs> no for reals you gotta have like you always have oldies you know i wrote down like lifestyle to me that comes in my head is like music family and like work for sure yeah that's like more detailed for sure my my lifestyle has always been family stability financially and then you know i like that little luxury shit okay and i'm used to the uh, like more ghetto lifestyle just because that was like the environment that i grew up in and it, i picked it up off of a programming tvs music you know okay but i feel like now thankfully by the grace of god i'm able to fall back on the actual stability that my family and my parents were able to provide me with and i feel like not for everybody they have parents or they have this or that but i feel like finding that stability Mm -hmm. really helps you succeed in a lifestyle that you feel is is better for you you know because if you live in a lifestyle that you just being reckless so that get a lifestyle like no i totally get it that stems from the past and like present and you're you're actually trying to stop from the future you know uh so what would you define the ghetto lifestyle maybe like i'm not trying to offend nobody but when you have no standards it's kind of ghetto right Mm. because you ain't really respecting yourself or your people so that's a little ghetto okay no no don't get me wrong no standards no boundaries yeah for sure yeah 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 but I feel like look wise people can get it misunderstood because I like to dress ghetto (laughs) you know but I'm not ghetto if that makes sense even if I was you know what's (laughs) crazy dude when I was 13 I always like in the back of my mind was like I'm always gonna be ghetto because I come from such a humble family like my family wasn't rich they weren't this that you know they were the people that came to cali they wanted to make a better life for themselves and this just goes back in generations and i feel like it goes back to the culture and all of that um but yeah lifestyle for me has definitely evolved throughout the years mm-hmm. but thankfully my roots have been like stable i have a good stable family to fall back on yeah i'm really grateful for that You know, one thing I did want to say about with family is that, like, when you see a Haina, you see that she's with her family. Nine times out of ten, she's with her with her prima Mm -hmm. or her ride or die. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, nine times out of ten, she's with family. Family. You know, for sure. I think family is Uh definitely a big thing for like a Haina lifestyle. Lifestyle. And it makes me think of Fast and Furious. (laughs) (laughs) Familia. Yeah. No, 100 percent. 
it's funny because like starting from the past you know i just came from a it's funny you called me out about like like more of like an ancestral trip like it really was like that was like more like a, like a big wait 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 where trip. did you just get back from uh, i got back from visiting mayan ruins mayan ruins beautiful yeah. mm-hmm. wow yeah, I went was Listening able to go to music on the Maya ruins. Yeah, I right know how I Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. my feet was dangling off of those ruins. Wow. No, it was so pretty and like it's it's an effort, you know what I mean? Definitely. And it's really grateful and stuff like that. And then you realize the people that live out there are very one thing that I've noticed from from the past to the future, uh, present and the future is that like family, you know, and then work. You know, everyone's really like working but yet content. Yeah, it's a it's trip. Like my friend, homegirl was like, "Oh my god, they still live in like 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 shackles. Wow. They still live out there like that." And, and then you know what? And they're happy with it. They cool. They they they're, they're content. Right. You know what I mean? They're right. not really trying to go and get it, but they're they're working. They're working. Yeah, you know. But they're happy. Yeah. They're with family. They're like content. Yeah, you know. And um, so it's it's a very humbling experience. And so that's like the past, and you realize like all of them from like now from my generation from like my grandparents and so forth mm-hmm. like they all worked hard mm-hmm. they all they, sometimes you kind of think about it it's like yo like my gravity worked so hard for me to fuck up mm-hmm. yeah i feel like once you start to actually take accountability for your own self you just see things different and that's when your lifestyle changes my lifestyle changed I mean, I had rude awakenings, but like I really had to get it together because I just realized that my my choices were making that lifestyle of not so good, you know? Yeah. So I started changing that, and my lifestyle changed, and it's just right. way better now and same. It's and that's just for the future. Family, the grind, and just having peace and having a good time. And you know what? Also, creating. I feel like it comes from being healed and it comes from being Mm -hmm. why are children so creative because they're so innocent so oh they're so pure exactly so right going back to that i'm just that's the mission no for real that's like tapping into your true your true purpose your true power oh my god yes i was actually the the word divine femininity like i could barely say it bro like it popped up into my head the other day and Mm -hmm. i was like what like I could I can't even say it and I said I was like divine femininity yeah, and then I was like okay maybe I need to work on that a little bit <laughs> I hear you I like, is that what you- <laughs> the irony I'm, like, is I'm that right what with you trying to tell me right now God because like got it i think you you know what i feel you because i think throughout our our whole life is that we had to work on our mask we were in our masculine oh yeah we we had to work so hard we had to tap we had to do masculine work and i'm not talking about being like a man give us an example i'm talking about like having to go out there and get like get additional jobs work hard to go get it put your name out there respectfully you know being ethical you know what yeah. I mean? Being knowledgeable, like this is that you know. But femininity is more, more of a, um, I you would stand say, down, right? Like I this. wouldn't say that is not standing down. That's the negative thing that people okay. keep putting on femininity. Oh, One of the God. things why maybe You're why so you right. can't say it is because they put that negative connotation on the word femininity. That's right, girl. I feel you. Call me out. Call me out because yeah, I had to call myself out. No, that's good for those things because I that's feel good. you. I love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. You know, but it gets like programmed. Just tap head. into that, and like you—that's tapping into um, ideally your inner child. That's like tapping yeah. into your sacred, like love, your pure love. Oh. That's in your creative um, space, right. your loving space. Right. You know. Right. Um, no, I hear you, girl. Like, be, like I'm right, right with you. <laughs> See, what? I am right with you. No, yeah, it, it's true though. Like, I constantly like to watch videos about these conversations with different you know men and women and like even the trans things going on like all of everybody's beliefs are just so blah (laughs) you know everybody's on this and that and that and this well we should just like really just be focused on ourselves which i guess i can really say like that's what i've been on probably Uh for longer than i can think of but like really really that i can remember like the past three four or five years you know um so yeah that's the lifestyle no that for I've sure chosen to redeem myself with you know the, my better self my higher self yeah tap into that uh, femininity girl 